All right, so this is gonna be a massive, massive underwear haul. I'm gonna to try to do this in the most least awkward way possible and the quickest way. But hopefully, um, if you're in the market for new underwear, this will hopefully give you some ideas as to where to shop, maybe somewhere new, someplace you'd never thought of before. So uh, let's get into it. So we're gonna start out with the Scandinavian brands. And first up, we have One Piece, uh, which is a Norwegian brand. Uh, they are known for their One Piece leisure wear, but they do carry underwear as well. These are just your basic boxer briefs, nothing too, too crazy going on here. Uh, this is just a clever way of them doing their logo in a cool graphic pattern. And then uh, their logo is subtly featured in the waistband. And then the second one I got is literally just the same thing, just in black. Cause... Next up we have A to Z, which is a Scandinavian brand. Um, I picked these up in Sweden. I want to say they're Swedish, but don't quote me. I definitely do know they originate somewhere in Scandinavia though. Same deal, these guys come in little sealed packets, except these ones slide open like that and there's one pair and what i thought was interesting is that they actually have these closed so you know that no one's tried them on which i don't hate that cool little detailing up top on the elastic waistband these two are the same style just the boxer brief uh, this pair was a little bit more athletic so it just feels kind of like compression tights so that you'd wear this to the gym or training or any of that fun stuff and it does still have that fun detail the a to z on the waistband side next up we have bread and boxers which is a swedish brand and what i love about these guys is that they're pretty minimalistic um, just your typical boxer brief and this is what that looks like and uh, what's cool about these guys is that it is a 94 percent organic cotton blend with 6% uh, spandex. Next up, we do have a two pack in a box from Selected Ohm, which is a Danish brand. And that's what they look like. Selected Ohm on the side of the waistband. And super soft actually, these uh, feel great. CDLP is a Swedish brand, and uh, they have some pretty bright boxes, which you cannot miss. The first pair looks like this, and uh, again, it's the perfect pair, in my opinion, to sleep in or just lounge around the house. And, have. and the next two pairs that I got from them these guys the material is super naturally soft um, again it's that Scandinavian minimalistic high quality vibe that I love next up we have a pair from Acne Studios and it comes in this fun little box it has a little pull out like so and this is what these guys look like a little bit different color wise you know they were on sale, so I figured why not. Next up, we have the All-American Classic Brands. I ordered these straight from ralphloren.com, and they sent it to me with a hanger and a little plastic bag covering it, so I thought that was pretty dope. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Ralph. So these are a little bit shorter on the leg line, um, but again, super comfortable. Cotton, spandex blend, pretty much everything that I bought is pretty much that blend. Next up, we have Tommy Hilfiger, and they've really stepped up their game. Um, I feel like they've kind of changed a lot over the past few years, and I don't hate it. All right, so everything that I got is pretty much the same shape. Their boxer boots are very fitted. They kind of sit low on the waist, and they're shorter on the leg line. Next up, we have uh, two options from Calvin Klein. First up, we have a three pack of the classic iconic Calvin Klein boxer brief in black. And then what I liked was that they just had fun colors in, you know, the Calvin Klein situation. But again, great fit, super comfortable. So normally I don't do white underwear. I just don't do it. It's not my thing. 
but uh, this was the only option that it came in with this waistband, the Calvin Klein 205 West 39 New York City. Uh, I thought it was so cool. I was such a sucker for it and uh, I had to get it. Next we have uh, brands that I just discovered. First up in this category is uh, a German brand. They put out such amazing underwear. First off, these boxes are literally over the top and crazy. Like, this is a multiple pack, but this just has one pair in them. A little excessive, but pretty uh, top notch. And just to kind of show you the presentation of this, when you open up the box, everything is nicely packaged. And this is what a three pack would look like. These are incredibly comfortable. Uh, these are actually a repurchase just because I love them so much. I bought my first pack of these guys in uh, Ilum in uh, Copenhagen. So comfortable. I sleep in these. I lounge in these. Uh, these are just a good all around pair. <laughs> and the other two pairs I got from this brand are these guys. And again, same situation. Great fabric. Feel amazing on. Uh, just a really great buy. Next up, we do have Charlie by Matthew Zink, and they come in these cool little slick pouches. First pair are these guys. Um, this material really feels like compression tights or something that you would wear to the gym. These uh, sit ultra low and are super fitted. If that's your thing, these are for you. If you want something a little bit spacier, maybe not so much, but I love uh, the waistband's awesome. It's just very Grecian and, and cool. Uh, but yeah, definitely a different option. So these ones are pretty much the same shape and cut as the other ones, except that the material is completely different. This is super soft and uh, just really nice. So the last pair of uh, underwear that I got from Charlie are these guys and I literally love everything about them. The fabric is soft, the waistband is comfortable, it's just uh, the fly which I have a problem with. Uh, the one button really doesn't do its job, it can pop open at any moment. So uh, I definitely recommend something like, like these guys that have the double buttons, keeps everything locked and loaded. Uh, Next up we do have Beckenberg, um, which is a Belge company I want to say. So their underwear comes in these boxes, and what's nice is that when you open it, they're individually packaged in uh, these little wraps. So their boxer briefs are incredibly fitted as well. They're just kind of like Charlie, maybe except a little bit longer. <laughs> but again, if you're into aesthetics, these guys are a great choice. And this is probably the only shirt of the haul, but uh, I picked this one up as well just because the sides were pretty cool. Armor Lux is a French company and again I've never heard of this one this is like a recent find. found this one on mrporter.com and the box came like this super beat up but the underwear is freaking fantastic. I thought these were very well cut comfortable again it just goes with that whole minimalistic vibe but just a, a decent good pair of boxer briefs and next up we have Sunspell from England and it's a two-pack comes in this box has a magnetic closure and these feel great uh, just a different style kind of instead of the elastic band just being on the outside they do have it covered in the same material as the boxer brief this comes in the two colors. Derek Rose is another English designer. Uh, this is made out of Pima cotton that stretches, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, and I love this waistband. I thought that was pretty cool. Like I've never really seen anyone else do something like that. And we take these pins out. But this feels so good. Uh, just a just soft lightweight uh, next up we have a uh, cn2 i uh, recently came across this at a department store i want to say it was either Saks or bloomingdale's this guy does come in a pouch as well so 
So this is another good, comfortable, lounge around pair of underwear that you could get. Um, I do like the pattern, I thought that was pretty cool too. Uh, just something different. Next up are the higher end brands. So I thought that the Philip Klein sport underwear was pretty fun in the packaging that it came in. Um, that's what that looks like. And I got two different pairs. First pair are these guys. Uh, incredibly comfortable. I was pleasantly surprised because uh, the price point wasn't low. Next. We have same idea except in white, which I normally don't do, but only option that came with <laughs> that. So, you know, I thought that was pretty fun. Next up, Hugo Boss. So just plain, subtle, which I liked, and then it does say Hugo Boss in the elastic band. But this feels like nothing. This is, uh, like I said, the dream when it comes to underwear. Fitted, and uh, these ones are a little bit more like shorter on the leg line. Next up, the Liber Queen. And the box is super awesome. Magnetic closure and these are fun, just little turtles all over. This is longer on the leg and waistband is pretty much plain except for when you turn it over it does say the brand's name, kind of like the swimwear that they're known for. Next we have Moschino and it comes in this box and that's what the underwear looks like. Next up we have Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, so these are the different options that I got from Dolce. This is probably my favorite pair. I thought they were pretty fun and different. Um, they are comfortable and decently cut. Next up we do have a couple pair from Prada. They come in these really flimsy minimalistic boxes. So it's Prada up top. This is what the first pair looks like. I will say the material is unreal. It's incredibly lightweight and soft. It does have a side pouch for, you know, for life. Next we have um, and they do have the hidden buttons for the fly, but again, just wicked comfortable material. And we have a pair from Versace. Really fitted, and again, iconic for the waistband. All right, so we've made it. It is now time for me to reveal my top two favorite all-time all-time favorite underwear brands so here we go first favorite is Hanro of switzerland their underwear is incredible and usually like i said before i go for a cotton spandex blend this is the only time that i'm really okay with like a synthetic blend if that makes sense so the micro touch boxer briefs from Hanro are probably hands down my favorite favorite boxer brief and i'm going to tell you why so I wore these, not this specific pair, but this style, uh, on a flight from JFK to Dubai, which is about 12-ish hours. I then had a nine-hour layover in Dubai, and from Dubai, I flew to Hong Kong, which is another additional seven hours. I couldn't even change, and I wore this style of boxer briefs. I felt great <laughs> for someone who, you know what I mean, couldn't shower, couldn't... I know, there's a lot of information, and because of that flight... Uh, these have now become my holy grail, can't live without, I will always be traveling in these uh, underwear, underwear. <laughs> but just so soft, breathable, you barely feel uh, that it's on, it's like silk. It's amazing. And because of that flight and after wearing those, 
uh, I literally invested in a bazillion other pairs. So I'm sold, clearly. And to branch out, I got a couple of different options that I've never owned before, just to see what else Hanro has to offer. But so far, it's just not disappointed. Incredibly soft, like I said. They're just the masters at underwear. All right, so my last brand that I'll be talking about today that I absolutely, absolutely love is Zimmerly. I've never had to pronounce that actually in real life, so I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation, but their underwear is bomb. I only suggest the cotton Lycra blends. Um, I've tried some of their other ones, didn't end up so well, but anytime that it's the cotton and spandex, it's just amazing. Now these guys are all great everyday options, super comfortable, the fit's flattering. Um, I can't speak highly enough about this brand. Another go-to is the Sea Island Boxer Brief. So it's literally made out of Sea Island cotton, which again, I want to know what makes that so special or comfortable or different, but uh, these guys are a dream. <laughs> um, they are incredibly expensive, but again, if you want to treat yourself, this is a pretty good option. All right, last pair that I'm going to be going over today is going to be the Royal Classic, which is these guys. And um, they're just a little bit different in terms of like the waistband. I don't know what Zimmerly's secret is. Um, they're from Switzerland. Also, Hanro is from Switzerland, and they happen to be my favorite brands in terms of underwear that I've tried thus far. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something incredibly right. Uh, but I'm such a fan. And so, yeah, there you have it. That is my ginormous massive underwear haul <laughs> welcome to the aftermath just all the underwear